Hi everyone, today I'm excited to show you how to set up and use Keep Your Home IP, Capri, and Maui VPN routers. I'll be demonstrating the setup process using the Maui routers, but don't worry, the steps are exactly the same for both Capri and Maui. There are two ways to set up your routers, either using your mobile phone or your laptop. In this video, I'll walk you through the setup process using a mobile phone. The configuration process is simple and straightforward, so let's get started. First, plug both routers into a power outlet. Log into your Keep Your Home IP account page and click on Add New Device. Select Home Server and click Continue. Here, you have two options. You can manually enter the MAC address, serial number, and device ID, or you can simply scan the QR code on the router. We'll use the QR code option, since it's much faster. Click on Automatically Scan QR Code, then click Continue, and scan the QR code on the back of the router. Once scanned, the home server router will appear on your account page with an offline status. Now, let's repeat the same process for the travel router, or travel routers, if you have more than one. Click Add New Device, select Travel Router, then Continue. Select the Automatically Scan QR Code option, click Continue again, and scan the QR code on the travel router. After scanning, both devices will be listed with an offline status. Then click Unlock Auto Configuration button. Next, I'll show you how to connect the routers to the internet so the auto configuration process can begin. There are two ways to connect the routers to the internet, via Wi-Fi or with wired Ethernet connection. Setting them up using Wi-Fi takes a bit longer, as it requires logging into the router's admin panels. For this demonstration, I'll use a wired connection, as it is faster and does not require accessing the admin panels. Additionally, it is recommended to always connect the home server via Ethernet cable and leave it connected to the home ISP router once the configuration is complete. To do this, connect both routers to your home ISP modem using the provided Ethernet cables. Take an Ethernet cable, connect one end to the VAN port of the router and the other end to a free LAN port on your home modem. Then repeat the same process for the second router. Now that both devices are connected to the internet, they will begin the auto configuration process, which takes about two minutes. Now let's confirm that the configuration was completed successfully. On your account page, scroll down slightly. On the right side, next to your home server and travel router, you should see the online status displayed. My routers are successfully configured, as I can see the online status next to both the server and travel router, confirming that my Keep Your Home IP VPN is ready to be used. It is very important to note that the home server router must remain connected to your home modem via the Ethernet cable, while the travel router should be disconnected and taken with you when traveling. Be careful not to mix up the two devices after configuration. To verify which one is your travel router, check your account page for the MAC addresses. For example, in my case, the travel router's MAC address ends with EB1D. Compare this with the labels on the routers. The one with the matching MAC address is the travel router you should disconnect from the home ISP modem. And that's it. The setup process for the Mario routers is really easy. Plug in, scan the QR code, and you're ready to go. If I can do it, you can do it too. Now I'm all set to move around and browse securely from anywhere in the world while keeping my location and IP address at home. If you have any questions, please contact Keep Your Home IP support at support at keepyourhomeip.com. Thanks for watching and happy browsing.